Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs here, with another LEGO Star Wars set review of set 75270 Obi-Wan's Hut, with 200 pieces, ages 7 and up, and retailing for $30. Now this set came out in January, and it, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I, I just compared a bit, and with that said, please remember to like this video, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and anyone new to the channel, welcome. And with that said, let's get into it. Obviously, we have the box. Um, now, you'll notice the little background design for it is a little uh, Tatooine landscape, which is very cool. See all the figures, all the warnings. Uh, you turn it around, they're just a more box. Uh, you got a little features that tells you a bit of what you can do. It's a pop-in, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of, but, you know, hey, whatever. And, you know, just kind of features, you know, what you get in the set, and I think it does a good job at it. Now, with that said, I also figured we would go in to show you quickly the instructions. The instructions are pretty, you know, baseline, generic for these types of things. Um, it tells you what to do. Towards the, you know, back, obviously, there's some cool little features. Like, it tells you, you know, where you can pop stuff out. Uh, you know, all that sort of stuff. It has some Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, as well as a Peace Catalog, and the new robot, No More Screaming Kid, Sad. But yeah, let's get into the figures. Here is Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Grand Jedi Master. Uh, honestly, I feel like Obi-Wan Kenobis have been getting progressively worse. I feel like there was this uh, Obi-Wan that came out in the Most Icely Cantina, I'll show you that, back in 2014, and that was, like, really cool. And then it just feels like they got downgraded. Like, this one, it is okay back printing, uh, and the hair piece, I don't know why they're still using this piece. In my personal opinion, you know, they should have switched to this piece a long time ago. It much more represents the likeness of Alec Guinness. And overall, just much better hairpiece than this little, like, rounded one. I think it's a little old. They've been using the same one for the, since the beginning of time. And, you know, I think it's time to switch it up. And also, on top of that, there's no leg printing. So that's annoying. That said, I think you could do, like, the hello there pose. But yeah, let's move into the next figure, which is Luke Skywalker. Here is Luke Skywalker, one of the three, and it would have been four if it, they had not canceled the uh, promo for the Skywalker Saga game. But this is one of the three uh, <laughs> Tatooine Lukes that we've gotten this year. One from the Cantina, one from the Landspeeder, and one from this. Now, it is pretty base, basic head. You get two little alternate faces, unlike Obi-Wan who doesn't have an alternate face. A little hairpiece. I think it has, like a, it's a, it has a weird divot. It's odd. And then he has binoculars, you know, that's all fine and dandy. Um, ooh, he's not pushed down all the way. And yeah, and then this, I, I never really noticed this until I was looking at it the other day, but this overlaps. So that's neat. I think if they included Luke with a poncho in this set, it would have been much better. So that way nobody would have had to buy the, uh, the land speeder. I think I would have rather just gotten it all in one. Because then, you know, you get the best of both worlds. Like, you get the little Leia thing, which we'll show you later, and Luke with a poncho. Let's move in to the Tusken Raider. Here is the Tusken Raider. Um, this is a very cool figure, uh, especially the reason I got this set was in the, because of the new Mandalorian episode as well as I'm eventually going to get the Cantina, so it would be nice to you know, have some Tatooine stuff. But yeah, here's the Tusken. Uh, pretty cool. I really think this is an underappreciated head mold. Nobody really cares about it. And also the Gaffy Stick, it should have been one singular mold. I don't think it should have been like this whole build. It's like way oversized. Like, they're usually, like, this big compared to the guys, and now they're, like, double his size. Not really, but yeah, this is a great figure. I think it's awesome and very worth it, considering how much these guys go for. Um, you know, it's great to have a little bit of a Tuscan force. Can't wait to be getting these next year. Let's move into the final figure. Here is R2-D2. Nothing special. It's R2-D2. There's some head parenting on the back. Nothing special at all. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's R2-D2. Let's move into the set. Here is the set. Um, it works in two different ways. So you could either have it closed up, which works in certain situations, and I'll show you that in a bit, as well as an opened up, uh, more open floor plan, if you will. Uh, yeah, so that looks that that's the suggested one on the cover art, and I think it works for these purposes. But first, I figured we'd go on the outside. You get a little crate um, in the set that has nothing except for maybe an extra lightsaber, like they give you some extra. So you know, I'm like, hey, put that in there. That's pretty cool, and. I think it's really neat, uh, yeah, also you get the little door here, you get a little, uh, keypad if you want that, and you get a little door here, and I think the thing that throws this off for me is that the crate is, like, right here, um, which works when it's closed, but when it's opened, no bueno, no bueno indeed, uh, 
On top of that, you know, it comes with a little crate. We'll show you that in a bit. But yeah, so there's a little door there. You get a little greebling. Also here, you get some nice detailing, you know, show the tear and wear and all that. And then over here, we have one of the biggest questions of 2020 of, for LEGO Star Wars, and I think I figured it out. So wait to see to the end how I figured it out and what all those clips do, and it's really interesting, actually. Uh, so yeah, also here is the, uh, like, little cup thing. I, I, don't, I don't know, I've been somewhere. But I think that's very interesting. Now, let's move into the open floor pan plan part. First off, when you remove the crate that's usually sitting there, there's a little, like, corner area with some tile. But you can take this little walking stick that is pitched on the wall for, you know, Obi-Wan to go walk around with and be a hermit. Um, I think it's really neat. I think it's nice, but they, like, give Obi-Wan so many accessories, which is a little interesting. So, uh, stay tuned for that. And, yeah, so here we have blue milk. I believe that's what this is, as well as a little glass. You know, for us, I believe that's for where if you want to have C-3PO sit somewhere, he gets it there. Uh, and then here is obviously the main area. First, we have a little cooking area. Here, I'll show you that. But, yes, here is the cooking area. We have a little pot with some green stew. I don't, I don't know. And we know it's cooking area because there's a little flame you could see right there, if you could see that. And there's also, I forgot to point this out earlier, there's a little grill piece and some little, like, greebling for, like, you know, pipes and stuff. And also you'd see the pipe from in here, which is pretty neat. Uh, and yeah, so that is what this little thing is for. And then next up, obviously, after, you know, take care of that, then you could sit down your figure in, there's a little, I, I'm not sure what this is. This is what confused me, the giant hole. Might have, maybe it's a cost-cutting measure. No idea. But yeah. Also, you have a gaffy stick back here, a second one, which I was like, what? Why are they doing that? that that's just weird. But I think it makes sense. I, I guess Desert Obi-Wan, you know, is feeding a bantha, which is what we learned they're actually used for in Mandalorian, unless they duel as a weapon. I, I'm not sure. So, you know, Obi-Wan now has this, this, as well as his lightsaber. So he's got a... a he's got... Yeah. <laughs> um, and then on top of that, we have a little seat here, which you can sit... Obi-Wan down after he's not holding all that, of course. Uh, and then, yeah, you're just going to want to sit him down there. And you could, you know, s this is a nice, nice tight room. You could barely fit all of your main characters that would be in here. Um, so you just do that. And it's, it's a mess. See, like, it's just not, uh, not fun, not fun. You have, you have to have them all very tightly packed. Um, Obi-Wan has to have his arm up. Uh, Luke has to, you know have to sit in a certain way. They fit in this little uh, corner. And it is pretty good. Uh, it, it works. That makes sense. Here's another angle. And also here is the Princess Leia mold. Now this is very neat. I'll just leave it like this for now. But it has like a little... It, they they kind of get it all cool. It's like her with her hood. As well as, you know, all the other stuffs. Pretty neat. Uh, yeah. So on top of that you have a little area for like all Obi-Wan's knickknacks. And you know, Jedi things. As well as, you know, this little thing, which will show you the contents of the crate later. And, you know, actually, let's get that into that now. Crate, uh, it comes with Anakin Skywalker's Jedi lightsaber. As well as another thing, they, like, have you put it in a certain way. So that way it doesn't, you know, come out. I'm just gonna pop it out. If you ever get stuff stuck in those, just, you know, poke it with a lightsaber. And thank you, Mr. Crate. This is the one where, uh, yeah, he, he gets the lightsaber from. So that's pretty dandy and neat. Uh, in terms of the other thing that I find really interesting, it is the training droid, which is really cool. You get, uh, the training droid that, you know, Luke would, you know, play around with. Let me get Luke. And then we'll have him, you know, fight off this guy. He doesn't have the shield, of course. But that, that's pretty cool. So if you want to, like, have fun with that, you'd spin it around and pew, pew, it, it'll fight. It's using a head print, so it, it's on a head. So if you, you know, you want to swap out a head and give him some hair, you can make, uh... You can make a robot ball loop, if you know, if you want to do that. Uh, but I think it's just super neat and super fun. Now, I will be displaying and showing you what those clips do now. And a question again, widely asked in the LEGO Star Wars community, what the heck do these things do? I think it's kind of simple, and I don't think, understand why nobody came up with it. Well, obviously, if you're going to have Obi-Wan and Luke sitting down, and you have nowhere to put their lightsaber blades, you're, and like assume like you want to just have their lightsaber or lightsaber blade, it doesn't really make a difference. 
Boom. That, that, that's two right there. Uh, they did the same exact thing, actually, with the new Bespin Duel set. I'll show you that. On this set right here, they have the little clips right in the corner for you to hold their lightsabers. And apparently Darth is holding one, too. But yeah, so you, you get the point. Simply enough, you could easily just, like, you know, say the lightsaber sticks go here. And that could make sense. And you could slide those up. And that's, like, what I'm going to do for the next one. And then you just get so many accessories in the set. I mean, you get the ball guy, which I'd assume you didn't put. But you could also, you know, put Obi-Wan stick here. Except it, it kind of popped off. Uh, as well as, you know, let me just get it. Uh, the Obi-Wan's gaffy stick, which, you know, could always go here. As well as the Tuscan's gaffy stick. And look, boom, every clip is used up. Um, I know it's not that exciting of a thing, but it's solved. Uh, we've done it. Uh, here, like, you look, you'd even use the ball. I don't know if that was on purpose. Look, see, look at that. And if you want to keep it, take out the crate, but don't use that. The clips are fixed. That was what you did, could do. And then again, I'm sure many of you are like, well, studs. Now you have all these empty clips in here. I think it's more of a playability feature. So that way you keep all your stuff in one place. I think that's what makes most sense. So I'm just going to put that there. But I think that's why they did it, honestly. It's just a play feature. They put that in. I don't think it's supposed to connect to anything, do anything special. I think everyone's kind of looked away from that, and i just just thinking about it forever. What could be? And I'm like, duh. I don't think LEGO has any nefarious plots. They usually don't do those types of combined sets, so that, that that's what those are. Uh, if you think I'm wrong or if that's been disproved, leave me. let me know in the comments, but I fixed it. I've saved the universe. Uh, thank you. My PayPal is in the description. Just kidding, of course. But yeah, with that said, let's get into the outro. Hello, everyone. So, thank you again for watching. It has been uh, super awesome to do this review. I'm sure this probably vi video is probably not even going to top off a thousand views, but if it does, it would be much appreciated. I really thank you for sticking to the end with me. You're an awesome fan. And say Pog in chat. Just say cast Pog. And if you are up to this point. So yeah, with that said, please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other things. I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out, and stay awesome.